Man, for Gary's Mutton, source filmmaker. <laughs> oh, if only someone actually did. <laughs> uh. By the way, Sunburst, you've known Starlight Glimmer since you were both fools, correct? Well, yeah, that's correct. Have you two ever thought about going on a date together? It's a, a, a date? With Starlight? Oh, come now. You two turtle doves would make a perfect couple. <gasps> you... your... Discord... What? But... Why are you here? You had to go and bring that up. Oh, do calm yourself, Starlight. Setting up a date between you two would be as easy as a la peanut butter sandwiches! When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Oh, your highness. I guess you'd like to come through to the archives of Star Swirl the Bearded, where the most dangerous of spells are located, and which can alter the fate of all Equestria. Follow me. Tweet, 
Yo, man, tweet. So, other than rocks, what else are you into? Minerals, plate tectonics, oh, and stand-up comedy, of course. I like... kites. Kites are cool. <laughs> this is going to be one heck of a day. You know why? Why? With tuppence for paper and strings, you can have your own set of wings. With your feet on the ground, you're a bird in flight. With your hoof holding tight to the string of your kite. Oh, let's go fly a kite up to You know, it really feels like we don't see much of the mayor these days. I know, right? But don't worry. Just today, I sent my star pupil. Your only pupil. My only pupil. Starlight Glimmer on a very important coffee delivery friendship mission to the mayor's office. And by the time we get there, the mayor should already be alert and happy to see us. Oh my god, Starlight, why did you do that? Why did you put a marble in her coffee? I thought it was a mint. Why did you twist her head off? Who puts mints in coffee, Trixie? Why? I was trying to do the Heimlich. Th that's not and how- And I made an honest mistake. The Heimlich does not involve the neck or spine. Maybe she's okay. Do you see the X's on her eyes? Those could be pluses. That means she's dead. It could mean she's drunk. She is not drunk. We don't know that yet. We have to bury the body. Starlight. You need to use your mind magic to make everyone forget that there ever was a mayor mayor. I'm not supposed to use my magic like that. You're not supposed to murder ponies! Well, Twilight will forgive me. For murder? Yeah. One time I killed the whole planet and she forgave me for that. Really? Yeah, this boy I knew back when I was a kid moved because he had to change schools and that justified everything. Man, that's- Seriously? My mom beat me till I ran away, and that- n I never killed anyone! Well, you should try it, it's cathartic. It's stressful! Twilight forgave you for that? She's never forgiven me for anything! Well, we did undo all those murders, so no lasting harm was done, and you could argue I didn't know I was killing everyone! Can you undo this? Uh, can you? Well, definitionally, maybe. But we need to go to the Crystal Empire for the Crystal Heart. It's a big source of life magic, you know? Sure, yeah, the Crystal whatever. Look, okay, I'm gonna stash the body in my cart. You make everyone forget about Mayor Mayor so they don't ask any questions. We'll go to the Crystal thing, and then we'll get this undone, and it'll be just like all the other murders that you've done. Well, not like all the murders. Starlight! Ah! And Trixie. Man, I hated that desk. Wow. Just crap. Crap. Desk. Always a pleasure. Hello, Twilight. Hey there, star pupil. Only pupil. Yes. What brings you to this completely empty room? Except for those of us standing here. Alive. Alive. I'm here to speak to, um, uh, the, um, the pony that, the, uh, she runs the town? Oh. Oh. Uh, well, that would be you. Me? Right. Because you're a princess, and you have a castle, and that means you're in charge. Really? Oh my god. This is this is like that dream where I enrolled in a class and then forgot about it, and then it's the final exam day? Yeah, you're probably destined for an F on this job. Starlight, do something! Okay. So, uh, what exactly did you think your princess job meant you did? Well, j well just this year alone, I've rescued at least 15 friendships, and, and most of them weren't even long distance. Yeah, if it seems like you're not doing a lot of work, well, uh... I don't want to sound too rude, but what you do is kind of stupid. Mending all these social fences isn't worth your time's expenses. Royalty is so much broader than the feelings in backwaters. Your true role is arbitrator, and that scope is so much greater. All disputes about the land should thus be settled by your hand. Should foreign fools make violent claims, it falls to 
you to make them tame, and if I may so interject, there lays a certain line of work that states that you uphold full intention to respect the needs of those mentioned. The document states that no free pony shall be taken to her prison, or be deprived of his holdings, liberties, or any otherwise destroyed, until we pass upon him the judgment of his peers. Or basically, if you think we killed someone, you gotta prove it. Cause you don't know we've killed a pony. What if such a charge were pony? Else the gallows have to hang and wouldn't share a shred of blame. This is nothing but conjecture for the sake of student lecture. Don't grow weary or suspicious. All I'm saying's be judicious. I don't know if I really learned anything from your song, Starlight. Well, I'm just the student, not the teacher. Anyway, good luck and goodbye.